guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are having a great day. Today we get to do a comparison I've wanted to do for a long time. We get to compare a humbucker equipped Telecaster versus a Les Paul. Let's get started. So today we're gonna to do a complete comparison of these two instruments. We're gonna play riffs in each one of the pickup positions and play some clean and some dirty. And of course, we're gonna go through the features and I'm gonna talk about where I think one guitar is better than the other um, feature-wise. And yeah, other than that, let's just jump right in and take a look at the first guitar. First up is the Telecaster Deluxe. So what we're gonna do is go through the features of this guitar. And then afterwards, I'm gonna talk uh, about what I like about this guitar better than the Les Paul. And then we'll flip it and do the same thing with the Les Paul. So let's look at the features first. So this is the American Professional Series. This replaces the old American Standard Series. Um, but there's a bunch of new things about this guitar. Um, it's got the new Fender Schaubacher humbuckers. So it'll be interesting to see how this sounds up against the Les Paul, whether this is just a Les Paul wannabe guitar or if it's a Fender through and through, we'll find out soon enough. Uh, it's got two volumes and two tones. It's got a three-way switch. So neck pickup, both, and bridge. Um, it's got sort of the vintage inspired bent steel saddles and the strings of course go through the body. Um, what else? It's got nice little indents on the pick guard. So, you know, oftentimes I'll take my bridge tone and just roll it back to seven or eight. That way when I switch from my neck to my bridge, it just gives me a little extra bite without being, you know, excessively bright. Um, a nice alder body with a tummy cut and of course a maple neck. This is the new Deep Sea profile. Uh, very comfortable to play on. So if you're used to playing on a Mexican or an American Tele or Strat, you're going to feel right at home here. Uh, tall, narrow frets. Really nice to play on. Feels very comfortable. And it's got a bone nut, which is great. So I pulled it out of the packaging, tuned it up, started playing. Not a single ping on the nut, even though the, nut, the nut's new. The string can just move freely back and forth in the nut. It's you know, those small things are really appreciated. And staggered tuning machines from tall to short. And other than that, let's uh, talk about what I like about it versus the Les Paul. So there's three things I like about this Telecaster more than the Les Paul. First of all is the weight. This is a very light and balanced instrument. Really, uh, it's a joy to play on, especially uh, if you take it out. I've only had a chance to play with it live once, um, but yeah, it was really great to play on. Number two is ergonomics. Now. Tellies have never been about ergonomics, but it's got this beautiful tummy cut. And as I get older, I enjoy the tummy cut more and more. Uh, it just enables you to hug the guitar. And when you can hug a guitar and you feel the vibrations from the neck into your body, it just helps you bond with an instrument. So yeah, I love playing, you know, with my guitars close up to my body. Number three is the satin finish on the neck. So the Les Paul has a nitro finish, very nice finish, of course. Um, but just having the satin maple neck is so smooth and so fast, so easy to play on. And of course, maple is a lot stronger than mahogany. So when I get a Telecaster, even though this is a, an expensive instrument, I will just take this guitar and hang it on the wall or put it on a stand. When I break out a Les Paul, um, it's more of a work of art and I just immediately keep it in its case all the time. So just, I don't know, a psychological or subtle difference between these instruments for me. All right, up next is the Les Paul. So we'll go through the features of the Les Paul and then I'll talk about a few things I like about the Les Paul more than I like about the Telecaster. Let's take a look. So in 2015, Gibson redid their entire lineup. So essentially all of their guitars became their high performance series instruments. Now this made a lot of people nervous about the direction the company was taking. So in 2016, they divided the lineup so you could buy a high performance series or a traditional series for each one of their models, which is great because then it's up to the customer to choose. Um, but starting in 2015, they offered a lot of new upgrades over previous guitars, including better output jack, better switching, uh, better wiring, um, lower profile, sort of more precise frets. So they're not too tall. So if you, pre if you, if you press down hard, uh, you're not going to bend it out of tune, which is great. Um, but let's go through the features of this and then we'll talk about uh, a few things I like about the Les Paul more than the Telecaster. So on a Les Paul, you get a mahogany body with a maple top. You get a mahogany neck with a rosewood fingerboard. You get three-way switching. So neck, both, and bridge, just like the Tele Deluxe. Uh, you get a stop tailpiece bridge. So on the Tele, it goes over the saddles and through the body. This one, this, you string it up from the back, from the, the tailpiece, and then over the bridge. Uh, volume, two volumes and two tones, one for each uh, pickup. So here's a few things I like better on the Les Paul. Number one is the output jack, the switch, and the, the volume and tone pots. They just feel better quality on the Les Paul than the Telecaster. Now, on the Fender, it might last 30, 40, 50 years, I don't know, but I, I do know that it feels better on the Les Paul. They just feel more secure. Um, the output jack just grabs your cable and doesn't let go, it's perfect. And of course, your volume and, and tone knobs just feel super high quality. Number two 
is the looks. Now, this is a gorgeous guitar. The Les Paul is just a wonderful instrument, just looks beautiful from every angle, just a lovely, lovely instrument. Um, and for me, you know, the Tele Deluxe has that sort of 70s vintage vibe. So if that, if you really love that, um, that's perfect. But I think for me, the Les Paul just looks the part. Three is the G-Force tuning system. Just kidding. It works better in this plastic bag than it ever did on my guitar. So that's gone. <laughs> Replacing it is some locking tuning machines which work way better. So number three is actually the finish. Now on the Fender, it has a thick poly finish, which doesn't really look good or feel good. Um, but on the Gibson, it has a nice nitro finish. Uh, really feels good in the hand, looks amazing under all lighting. Um, on the neck, I do like the, the, the fender where it's uh, not finished at all or, or really satin finish, but overall, um, the nitro just looks and feels way better. Now you guys always get after me in the comments for not talking about the signal chain, so here we go. The amp is a Mesa Boogie Blue Angel. The mic uh, is a Rode NT1. Uh, overdrive sounds are courtesy of the Honeymoon 2 Suite Distortion. Uh, Planet Waves cable, Chicken Pick, Bermuda 3, 2.7 mil pick, and uh, reverb delay will be added on the computer when I mix all this down. All right, first up is some jazz in the neck position. Let's take a listen. Next we're going to jump to the bridge and we're going to play totally clean and you guys can listen to some vintage chime. Let's take a listen to these guitars with both pickups engaged. We're going to do some slow blues. Now let's go back to the bridge and add some distortion and play a heavier riff. And finally, let's do some soloing. So we're gonna play these guitars over top of a slow blues backing track, and I'll be flipping back and forth between the bridge and the neck pickups.
So some final thoughts on these two guitars. Um, both of them are awesome instruments. I really enjoyed putting this video together because I got to play on these guitars back to back. Um, the Les Paul is just a Les Paul. It gives you that really mid-rangey, especially lower mids that the Telecaster doesn't have. Um, it just gives you that thick, creamy Les Paul tone. Now the Telecaster, um, I really enjoyed playing that on that too. I wasn't sure when I did this comparison if it would just be a Les Paul clone with Fender logo, um, but it's got its own personality. Certainly a lot more chimey than the Les Paul, um, way more clarity in the low end than the Les Paul. So if you you know dig in with a pick or with your with your thumb to uh, to snap some of those low end strings, it sounds like a Fender which is awesome because it is a Fender. It's just uh, got those low noise, low output pickups, uh, whereas the Les Paul's pickups are higher output, the Fenders are lower output, and it just gives you that classic Fender chime, um, but without all the single coil noise. I hope you guys enjoyed this comparison. If you wanna to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this, you can do that right here. Uh, if you wanna check out the Tab Store, you can check that out here. And if you wanna watch a couple more videos, I'll put two right over here. Have a great day, you guys. We'll see you next week. Take care.